Every weekend during football season, you see teams take the field wearing helmets with alternate or throwback designs. Well, new at five sports reporter Kevin Lewis spoke with a Tampa native who brings these concepts to life and gets to meet some really cool people along the way. Preston Battle wanted to buy a good looking Auburn helmet for his collection, but he found out it would be cheaper to just get the parts and make it himself. Mix in a little networking with the power of social media and the 22 year old is turning his hobby into a career. It takes a lot of work to turn a design into reality. I bought a used helmet, uh, filled in the scratches, sanded it down, painted it, clear coated it, had some decals made and uh, went from there. So how long does this take? The complexity of the design is really what influences time. But uh, once I have all the parts in front of me, I can get it put together in a few hours. But a restoration project like that will, will definitely take a couple weeks. Battle's list of clients is legit. From Tampa native and Colts returner Isaiah Rogers to 11-year NBA veteran Nate Robinson to former NFL punter turned podcast star Pat McAfee. Boom! Flip it over. But it's a beautiful helmet. Shout out to Battle Custom Helmets. I've met so many people, so many more people than I ever thought I would doing this. After putting together a helmet for ESPN Sports Center, Preston got a call to make one for the GOAT. The guy that I've been talking to at Sports Center actually texted me and said that. Tom Brady's assistant is looking to get him something cool for Christmas. So uh, can I send him your info? I was like, dude, bro, like now, like you didn't even have to ask. Battle graduates FIU in a few weeks, and he already has a job lined up with Green Gridiron, where he'll get to be like a kid in a candies, well, helmet store. Where, whereas I just do individual custom projects, they have the whole warehouse. They sell helmets for game use. Also, they sell all the face masks, visors, accessories, all that. Now, Battle is vocal on social media about the NFL changing its one helmet rule, which limits the designs a team can use throughout the season. A Bucks head coach, Bruce Arians, thinks that rule will be changed this offseason. And if it is changed, he has a local guy who I'm sure can help him with some designs. In Tampa, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.